Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, and boy am I glad to be because guys, this is going to be a very important video for this channel. This is going to be a very important video in the history of cryptocurrency because this is a very important day in the life cycle of Bitcoin because today is a day in history for Bitcoin that we will be talking about for years to come. We've just gotten confirmation of a Bitcoin bull market. One is starting. The third bull market in the history of the cryptocurrency itself has just been confirmed. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over exactly what those confirmations are, why we know that a Bitcoin bull market has started at this point, and where we expect Bitcoin to be going from here now that one has started. So if you guys do enjoy today's video, definitely consider dropping a like. Hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell, guys. It does help out the channel when you do it. And I would be appreciative if you did it. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and get into this awesome video here on Bitcoin. Of course, one of the first things to discuss here is Bitcoin's price. Because as we can see, over the last several days, Bitcoin has been rallying in a very, very major way. If we come in here to the four hourly chart, what we're going to find is that Bitcoin has continued this rally up and overnight. In yesterday's video, Bitcoin was trading around $6,400. In the last 12 hours or so, Bitcoin rallied all the way up on a wick to $7,000 thousand dollars and we currently find ourselves testing resistance exactly where I said we were going to at six thousand eight hundred dollars interesting that it plays out the way you expect it to sometimes but nevertheless Bitcoin has been in a state of rally for nearly three months now actually over three months depending on how you measure it from February the 8th all the way to where we are now, Bitcoin has been in a parabolic run for 93 days. The last time that we saw a rally that long was, in fact, at the end of the last bull market, not even at the start of it. At the end of it, we saw a 94-day rally. We're set to break a record that's been in motion for a very long time. It's been a very long time since we've seen a rally last that long. One of the ones that may actually top it would be back over here. That's only 80 days, though. We'd have to go all the way back into 2016 to find a rally that lasted longer than the one we're currently in. This one lasted 156 days. It's crazy to think that the one that we're in might last that, that long, but with how bullish Bitcoin seems, and since we are entering a bull market and there's so much hype, maybe that'll happen. I don't want you guys to FOMO. That's going to be one of the big topics of today's video, though, as well. But anyway, guys, I do want to go ahead and get into the confirmations, why we know that a Bitcoin bull market has now started, why it's not really a question of if one is starting or when one is starting. It is a question of where it will go at this point. So let's go ahead and dive on into that. There are many different technical indicators that I use to predict a Bitcoin bull market. Nearly a year ago, back in, I want to say it was May or June, I uploaded a video talking about technical indicators that predict Bitcoin bull markets. And I said that when we start seeing those technical indicators come to fruition, and when we start seeing Bitcoin show these signs, then Bitcoin will have confirmation of a bull market and will be able to conclusively say that a Bitcoin bull market has started. And here are those technical indicators. One of them would be the weekly 20 exponential moving average. This is a very important moving average. We're going to come to the longer term charts here. This is a day behind, so it is showing Bitcoin trading $6,300. Bitcoin is trading at $6,800. That's because this chart waits for the daily candlestick to close before it updates. But the point here is that Bitcoin is above that 20 weekly exponential moving average because as you guys can see in the history of Bitcoin, whenever it's in a bull market, Bitcoin is above that moving average. For the entirety of the 2016-17 bull market, Bitcoin was above that moving average. During bear markets, Bitcoin is below it. So that's why a couple weeks ago when Bitcoin got above the 20 EMA, I said, guys, this might be an early warning sign of a Bitcoin bull market starting. And it turns out I was right. And many other people called that as well. Of course, that wasn't just me. This was a rather obvious thing to tell based on our technical indicators. One of the other TA, one of the other indicators I look at is the 50 weekly exponential moving average, excuse me, simple moving average. This is a very important moving average as well. And as you guys can see, we have closed one green candlestick above it. And it looks like we're set to close a second one, which would be confirmation of bullishness from this candle. As we can see in the history of Bitcoin here, Bitcoin only ever breaks above this 50 exponential. Uh, this 50 weekly simple moving average when it is entering a bull market it happened once right here in the second hit in the second bull market in Bitcoin's history. And if we continue back over here, Bitcoin broke above it right here in the first bull market of Bitcoin's history. The only time that this has ever been wrong is back over here in 2012 when we had a tiny little fake out above it. This is a very strong indicator of when Bitcoin bull markets start. And it's one that we have just used as confirmation that a Bitcoin bull market is indeed starting. Those are two of the moving averages I wanted to look at, but one of them, one of the things I want to look at also has to do with the weekly RSI. Now, I know I am recover, uh, recovering. I'm uh, rehashing some of the things we've discussed in previous videos, but it's important that we have all of these in one place so that we can then go ahead and do our technical analysis based on all the facets. We want to make sure we're not missing anything. We want to know why Bitcoin started a Bitcoin bull market. We don't want to just say, 
Bitcoin rallied 7% yesterday, ergo bull market, because that's not the way that works. We have to see confirmation coming from the technical. So that's why we're going over these. One of the other ones that I want to point out would have to do with the RSI here. As you guys can see, there is a very clear trend in the weekly RSI with this line right here, sitting around 58 on the weekly RSI. Whenever Bitcoin is below this RSI figure, it is normally in a bear market or accumulation phase, as we saw over here in 2014 and most of 2015. Bitcoin was below this level on the RSI, and thus it was not in a bull market. But just about as soon as Bitcoin entered a bull market in October and November of 2015, Bitcoin broke above this level. And for the entirety of that bull market, Bitcoin stayed above that level. And then, of course, as technical analysis tends to play out sometimes, you see that when we entered this bear market from here to here, Bitcoin was indeed below this level. And now recently in the last couple of weeks, Bitcoin has managed to test resistance on this RSI level and break through it. This right here, this breakout is the third confirmation of a Bitcoin bull market that we are looking at and the third one that I wanted to mention in today's video. But guys, wait a second. Billy Mays here because there is more we have more technical indicators to look at. One of the most obvious ones would in fact just be $6,000. One of the things that you want to look at when you're looking for the beginning of a bull market is to see what Bitcoin is doing in relation to long-term levels of resistance. If we look back on Bitcoin way back in time over here in 2015, what we're going to find is that one of the things that we used to define when Bitcoin entered a bull market was when Bitcoin broke above $300. Now, Bitcoin came up and tested this level a couple times, but it didn't break it. As you can see, we came up here and tested it, but we didn't break it. What we did, in fact, do was over here in October and November of 2015 was we broke it and had a gigantic rally, moved way to the upside. We mooned, if you will. And then we came down and we tested that level as support. That's an important thing that hasn't happened yet, but I do think that's going to happen relatively soon. Bitcoin came down and tested this as support and then continued to move from there. We broke through important market structure and we broke market structure in general. That's what's happened here over the last couple of days, guys. We went up to $6,000 and we blew straight through it. The bulls are showing a lot of strength right now. We're seeing another candlestick formation, which I haven't mentioned, which would be called uh, the three white soldiers, three green candlesticks like this. This isn't a great example of it, but that is what you would call this three green candlesticks of roughly the same size, three white soldiers. That is what we're looking at here as well. That's another bullish uh, candlestick formation. We have a lot of different uh, ways to predict that Bitcoin has entered a new bull market. We have a lot of different confirmations that we're looking at, but one of them also has to do that we've closed several daily candlesticks above $6,000. What I'd like to see from here is Bitcoin actually break, uh, excuse me, not break, but actually uh, fail to get through $6,800, test $6,000, then come up and break through 6.8K. I don't want to see Bitcoin break through 6.8K right now because I think Bitcoin will get overextended. And the further overextended you are, the much uh, the easier it is for the Bitcoin bears to go ahead and take massive control of things. If Bitcoin breaks through 6.8K right now, we're probably going to be ridiculously overextended. It's going to be absolutely nuts. We're going to make a crazy amount of money for a little while, but when we do eventually run out of bullish momentum, the bears are going to take control and plummet us all the way back down to 6k. So what I would actually like to see is for the bears to have a little bit of a chance here, pull Bitcoin back down to $6,000 and then we bounce. But guys, I'll be totally honest. Bitcoin has just seen confirmation of the beginning of a bull market that many of many of us have been patiently waiting for 18 months. Bitcoin has just broken through $6,000, the most important level of resistance in all of Bitcoin technical analysis. Now I suppose it's a level of support. And we're always seeing new bullish fundamental news coming into the cryptocurrency market. So the likelihood of Bitcoin doing what I want it to do, which is coming down here and testing $6,000 and then bouncing as it might in a more neutral market, is low. At this point, I think Bitcoin is probably going to either at worst sit up here and test 6.8k and then break through it in a little while, or we're just going to break through it in the next couple of days, guys. Whenever Bitcoin is going on a crazy rally like this, as we saw in 2017, it's going to run for a little while. And after it does, then the hell is going to come to pay because we're going to see the bears have their chance. But for the time being, anyway, Bitcoin is massively parabolic. Look at 2017, what happened here at the end of this bear market. And look at what at the end of that bull market and look at what's happening here at the beginning of this one. Bitcoin is going completely parabolic. It's rallying so incredibly fast. And when Bitcoin does that, eventually the bears are going to have their sh their time in the sun. And Bitcoin may very well run all the way to $10,000 or something crazy, but eventually the bears are going to have their chance. And that's one of the things I want to talk about before we talk about price targets for the next bull run is what we want to do in relation to this market. Guys, I want you to be very careful in this market. And I mean that with every fiber in my being. It's very crucial that you are very careful in this market. Bitcoin is rallying. Bitcoin is bullish. Bitcoin has just entered a bull market. So wouldn't we want to buy? Well, yes, of course we want to buy. But what we want to do and what we should do oftentimes don't line up, especially if we're newer to the market. I've been in the market for two years and I find myself right now wanting to go and buy thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of Bitcoin. But you know what? I'm not doing that. And the reason that I'm not doing that is because Bitcoin has been rallying for 93 days. Bitcoin is up 
a hundred percent from its recent low of around thirty two hundred dollars bitcoin has rallied in an immeasurable way an insane way it's been going crazy for the last couple of weeks and while yes there may be there may still be some more room in this rally the time to buy bitcoin and we were buying bitcoin down here the time to buy bitcoin was down here before the rally guys after a gigantic rally has happened that's not the time that you want to be buying bitcoin you need to be able to predict these things and then after you're able to predict these things buy the bitcoin then get your profits now now's the time to be selling now is not the time to be buying so if you're thinking about buying bitcoin i'm not going to tell you not to buy that is none of my business i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice i have never once in the history of this channel told any one of my subscribers what to do with their money that being said i will be more than happy to say that you need to be careful because this is a very very crucial time for bitcoin and there's a lot going on in this market and sometimes technical analysis does have its limitations when things are going as crazy as this and sometimes bitcoin is going to run straight through the moon go straight to the stars but then eventually it's going to come back down to earth and the bears are going to plummet it because that is the way markets work no matter how excited we get we must remember the lessons of the past that bitcoin will run and it will run and it will run and it will run and it'll run 10 times longer than we thought it would but eventually the bears are going to have their chance and that might be tomorrow it might be next week bitcoin could run for an entire year but for right now we do want to be careful because bitcoin is very overextended on the rsi on every single time frame we're going to see that it's up here on 85 on the daily rsi out on the weekly rsi we're starting to get up here into overbought territory and we've been in a bull market for three days guys we want to be very careful with our trades here be very careful about buying in here don't FOMO in just because the market is rallying don't let your emotions take over use your gut but don't let your emotions control you use your knowledge of the market and if you don't have a ton of knowledge of the market now's a great time there is the cryptocurrency technical analysis academy in the description down below and because I love you guys so much I will remind you that there is a sale coming so wait for that before you go ahead and jump on into C22A that will be coming in the next week or so Anyway, from here, guys, I do want to discuss a couple more things. We've talked about what Bitcoin has done. We've talked about the confirmations of this Bitcoin bull market, and we've talked about why it's so very important that we don't let our emotions control us and why it's important that we don't just go start throwing money at the market because Bitcoin is rallying. The next thing that I want to discuss is short-term price targets for Bitcoin, what I think Bitcoin is going to do over these next couple of days on into the next few weeks now that we have confirmation of a Bitcoin bull market starting. And from there, I want to talk about where Bitcoin is going to run in this bull market. How far is Bitcoin going to rally? What is Bitcoin going to do here in the rest of 2019 moving on into 2020. Let's go ahead and start with the short term. If we look at the short term here on Bitcoin, what we're going to see is that Bitcoin is, of course, testing short term resistance on 6.8K. But one thing that you're going to find is that even though I would like Bitcoin to come down here to $6,000, like I mentioned earlier, Bitcoin is sitting up here testing this level of resistance over and over again. If we come in here like the 15 minute chart, what we're going to see is that Bitcoin is still testing this level. Bitcoin is not exactly just rejecting off of it, as you might expect after Bitcoin's run 100% all of its RSI and stochastic RSI figures are overbought. In a normal market, you would expect, okay, Bitcoin's going to test this and it's going to crash. This is not a normal market. You have to keep that in mind. There are crazy things going on in the market right now. Everybody is super hyped. If a bunch of robots were trading Bitcoin, then this wouldn't matter because robots don't get excited about bull markets. But Bitcoin does get excited about markets because there are a lot of humans trading Bitcoin. And this is one of the things we have to keep in mind is that even though 6.8K is a very crucial level of resistance that in theory we should reject from, we are so very bullish right now and so exuberant that we have to be able, uh, we have to be ready for the possibility that Bitcoin will break through it. So over the next couple of days, what I I think is somewhat likely to happen here guys i don't really want to put a prediction on this because like i said it's harder to do more accurate technical analysis when the market is this crazy and when there's so many immeasurable features in the market such as uh, bullish exuberance that's a very hard thing to quantify and thus it's a very hard thing to use in your ta so i don't really want to make a whole lot of concrete predictions here but i think there's one of two scenarios that are going to play out either bitcoin is going to continue testing six thousand eight hundred dollars for a little while or maybe have a small rejection from it like i mentioned earlier or and this is possibly the more likely scenario bitcoin's going to break through 6.8k and start rallying towards new highs and if bitcoin does that let's go ahead and discuss what kind of price targets we'd be looking at if bitcoin breaks through 6.8k and starts moving to the upside there are a couple of pretty obvious levels of support and resistance that we're going to be looking at if we go ahead and bring out our horizontal lines one of the first one is going to be right here around seven thousand four hundred dollars this has been an important level in the history of bitcoin as you can see we had an all-time high excuse me not an all-time high a rally high here we had a bunch of trading around it here and here that's going to be an important level for those reasons but as we keep going back into the history of bitcoin we will find that bitcoin has had a bunch of trading around this level for quite some time these two uh, extremes right here this 
bottom and this top also traded around 7.4k and then we had some trading around it back over here and I believe we even did back in the 2017 bull market I remember that level specifically back over there because I was right around the time we started this YouTube channel 7.4k is going to be the next major level of resistance if we break 6.8 watch out for that after we break 7.4k if we do guys and I'm not necessarily saying we're going to but if we do the one above that would be 8.4k and the reason for that is pretty simple we had a high over here not too long ago back in July of 2018 and we also had quite a bit of trading around this level back in months prior those are two of the major levels of resistance I'll be looking out for and beyond that guys if somehow miraculously Bitcoin keeps running after that the next obvious most important level of resistance is $10,000. I'm not saying that Bitcoin is going to go to $10,000 right now, so don't get hyped. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to spread FOMO, but I do want you guys to understand that if Bitcoin does keep running, those are the price targets I'm looking out for. Now, there are other price targets and we'll get more into them as the time progresses and as it becomes a little bit more clear what Bitcoin is going to do here over these next couple of days, but those are the longer term price targets that we're looking for and the levels of resistance that we may find Bitcoin topping out at over the next couple of months moving on into and through the summer. From there, guys, let's go ahead and continue talking about price targets. Let's talk about the price targets for this bull market in general. But because, guys, there's a lot of different ways you can look at markets, but one of the ways I like to look at markets are a series of waves, a series of cycles, if you will. I say that markets are cyclical a lot, and the reason I say that is because, in general, markets follow larger and larger and larger cycles. We see a bear market cycle, a bull market cycle, bear market, bull market, and then within those bull and bear markets, we see downtrend, rally, downtrend, rally, downtrend, rally, downtrend, rally, downtrend, rally, downtrend, rally, Blah, 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 blah. And then if you zoom in, you're going to see even shorter term downtrends and rallies on the four hourly, then the hourly, then the 15 minute, then the one minute. That is how the market is structured. So it's pretty easy. It's not pretty easy, but it's pretty similar predicting the high of the next bull market as it is to predicting the high of a next rally. Now, guys, with that said, I see a lot of people on YouTube, and this is not me throwing shade at anyone. I'm very fond of many of the cryptocurrency YouTubers here, but I do disagree with the idea of saying this is exactly the number that Bitcoin is going to go to, or Bitcoin is going to go to somewhere in this region. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm not going to say Bitcoin's going to go to $167,000. Bitcoin's going to go to $87,000. Bitcoin's going to go to $69,420. I'm not going to say that. What I'm going to say instead is I'm going to show you where I think Bitcoin will go to at least. I'm going to give you kind of a range of where I think Bitcoin could end up because really it's far too early and there's far too many uncertainties in this, in this next bull market to be totally sure about exactly where Bitcoin is going to rally to. So with that said, let's get into it. One of the first obvious levels is that Bitcoin is going to go beyond twenty thousand dollars this isn't really much of a bull market if bitcoin doesn't break previous all-time high i think we can all agree that during this bull market bitcoin is going to break twenty thousand dollars and we'll be moving much higher than that if we were to bring up coin market cap right now and look at the history twenty thousand dollars for bitcoin would be a couple hundred billion dollars worth of market capitalization which sounds like a lot but it's really not when you think about major stock exchanges like the new york stock exchange are worth trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars. I shouldn't say worth. They have trillions of dollars on them. They have all kinds of money. So a couple hundred billion dollars market cap for Bitcoin isn't anything crazy. A ridiculously high market capitalization for Bitcoin would be somewhere above $100,000, guys. If we were to look at the previous all-time high compared to the current all-time high, about uh, $1,200 all the way up to all the way up to uh, $20,000. For simplicity, let's say that's a 15x. That's not the exact number, but for simplicity, let's say that's a 15x. If we were to see a 15 times increase from the $20,000 high, that would bring Bitcoin to $300,000. And that is not exactly a great way to extrapolate data, and I want to make that very clear. But this is just us trying to ballpark where Bitcoin is going to run to. $300,000 is way up here. This is where Bitcoin was at all-time high. This is where Bitcoin is now, and this is $0. This is everything in between Bitcoin's current level and $0, and this is up here. If we get rid of all this and we go ahead and measure that from where Bitcoin is currently all the way up to $300,000, that's a 4,000 times percent, 4,000 uh, percent increase. That is a gigantic rally, and Bitcoin probably can go to $300,000. And like I said, I'm not putting specific price targets on this. I'm not saying Bitcoin's going to go to exactly 300K. Bitcoin might go to 140,000. Bitcoin might go to 500,000. But if I'm being totally honest, I don't think Bitcoin is necessarily going to go above two or $300,000 in the next Bitcoin bull market, and even that's extreme. I think in the future, Bitcoin probably has the potential to go all the way to a million dollars. I think Bitcoin can be worth over a million dollars per coin. I think that is very possible. If you do the math and you'll find that there's uh, like 0 0.05 per Bitcoin for every person on the planet, it's even lower than that actually, I forget the exact number, but it's very, very low. It wouldn't surprise me in the slightest, and it would actually be surprising if Bitcoin didn't go to over a million dollars per coin, considering how many people are just 
hodling Bitcoin and just holding Bitcoin, keeping it out of circulation. Bitcoin is not an inflationary currency. It's a deflationary currency. There's always less money. There's always less Bitcoin being added to the market on every halving. The next one coming up relatively soon. There's people always accumulating Bitcoin for the long term and never selling them. There's always people hodling. There's always whales gathering up the Bitcoin. So it wouldn't surprise me at all if Bitcoin did go to those levels. So guys, here's what I think Bitcoin is going to do in the next Bitcoin bull market. I think that Bitcoin is going to end up somewhere between $100,000 and $300,000. I think we're going to go far above 20 k I think we're going to blast straight through it when we get there, and we're going to go up above $100,000. We probably won't go all the way to 300 k but guys, let's go ahead and do a little bit of simple math here with our ruler. If Bitcoin did go to 100 k that's a 1,600% return. Are we really going to complain about a 1,600% return over the next three years? I know I'm not, guys. And if you're using leverage, that could be more like a 16,000 or a 160,000% return. There is a lot of money to be made in this market. But guys, since I've said that, I also have to preface again, I don't want you to FOMO. Those are big numbers. Yes, they are. They are ridiculously big numbers. Bitcoin going over $100,000 seems absolutely unthinkable. But you have to understand that we are very early on in this market. Bitcoin is a very infant uh, industry. Bitcoin in the cryptocurrency space is very, very young, and it has a lot of room to grow. There are a lot of industries that have not even begun to touch cryptocurrency. There are billions and billions of people who have never heard the word crypto and currency put together, and even more of them who have never heard the word crypto in the first place, and many of them who have no idea what Bitcoin is. Bitcoin has a long way to run. 2017's bull market was not the end of it. This was the sucker's rally. This was the start. This was not the end. Bitcoin is starting now. Every day that Bitcoin passes is another day close to that all-time high. With all that said, I do want to preface again, do not FOMO into this market. Use your technical analysis. Don't use your emotion. Use your gut. Be careful about how you work in this market because as you make money, there is an equal chance that you will lose money if you're not careful. Keep that in mind always. But at the same time, there is a lot of money to be made in this market. If we look back to previous bull markets, then what we're going to find is that Bitcoin runs a lot. This last bull market, Bitcoin ran 9,000%. If you bought in at $200, held until $20,000, that was a 10,000% return. I don't necessarily think we're going to see a 10,000% return this time. But guys, do we really need a 10,000% return to be successful traders and investors? I don't think so. Speaking of trading and investing, to wrap this video up, one of the last things I want to mention is that as we enter this bull market, it's important that you guys understand a core lesson that many people learned the hard way in 2017. When I got into the market in 2017, we were nearing the end of the bull market. Bitcoin was getting close to $20,000. I got into the market when Bitcoin was trading at $2,800, which sounds far away from 20K, but Bitcoin hit 20K like five months later. What I saw a lot of people saying during that bull market was this. They said, I was trading every single day in the cryptocurrency market, and yes, I made a lot of money, but you know what? I wish I had have just put all that money in an investing account held on to it, saved it, and then not traded. Because a lot of people in this 2017 and 2016 bull market, they would have made more money by just buying low, selling high once instead of trying to do it every day in day trading. Unless you are a very good day trader or swing trader, what you really want to do, and I, I should preface this that I'm not telling you to do this, but you should consider doing this, is having an investing portfolio and a trading portfolio. And the more uh, new to the market you are, the more of your money should go into the investing portfolio and less of it should go into the trading portfolio. And as you continue to gain more skill in the cryptocurrency market, you become a better day trader through your practice with that smaller portfolio, then start moving some more of your valuation to your trading portfolio. Now, that being said, I'm not saying pull money out of your investing portfolio. If you put money into your, into your investing portfolio, never take it out. I mean, keep it indefinitely. If you want to call it a retirement fund, do that. Bitcoin is going to go a very long way. What I'm saying is that increase the ratio of your trading to your investing as you become a more skilled day trader. A lot of people lose money day trading. The vast majority of people do. The vast majority of people will lose money trading. So if you are anything but an expert in this market, what you want to do instead is make sure that you have a good amount of money invested in Bitcoin, especially since we're entering a very long-term rally called a Bitcoin bull market. And guys, I think we're going to see crazy returns. Don't make the same mistakes that many people did back in 2015, 16, and 17 by not buying a long-term position. Start working on dollar cost averaging. We'll be discussing all of this and more in videos to come as Bitcoin continues this bull market. And these are all concepts that we discuss in the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy as well. So if you guys do want to learn how to do TA in such an important time in the market, there will be a sale running on CT2A in the next couple of days where you can learn everything you need about technical analysis moving on into the next bull market. Anyway, guys, it has been a wild ride. This YouTube channel started at the end of the last bull market and now one is now forming again. We started this YouTube channel right back over here. We've survived the entire bear market together, guys. A new dawn has come. Bitcoin has started a rally once more. 
and I'm very much looking forward to the future with all of you guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me for the last 18 months during this bear market. You have no idea how appreciative I am of every single one of you and the fact that we're approaching 20k subscribers. That is absolutely insane. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I do want to thank each and every single one of you for watching as always, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.